Hey everyone, welcome to the desert edition of the One City Challenge, where we'll attempt to win a science victory with a single city. We're playing on Deity on a small custom made map with five opponents. Technically World Builder is currently incompatible with game modes such as secret societies, but apparently some secret societies are at least partially compatible. So we have secret societies mode, heroes mode, hex shuffle mode, and apocalypse mode all turned on here. We'll be using the same Great Bath Soothsayer combo that Potato McWhiskey used in his Ethiopia One City Challenge. I did a standard Korea One City Challenge back in 2019, and I've wanted to try a Desert Petra One City Challenge for a while. Several of you have also requested a Great Bath maximization, so I figured this would be a good opportunity to synergize Petra and Great Bath in a One City Challenge. Ethiopia is a great choice because of their ability to generate science and culture from faith, and the Void Singers will amplify this ability. With the game modes, this should be a chaotic game, so let's see what happens. So our yields here are not very good um, yet, but we will have Petra eventually, so I'm gonna go ahead and settle in place. Let's start with a scout, and here's the tech tree with tech shuffle mode. Let's start with mining here. We have some mineable resources. Looks like a scientific city-state, and we have a tribal village here. Geneva, okay, so first meet on them. If you're suzerain, your cities earn 15% science whenever you are not at war with any civilization. So that will be really nice if we can get that. Let's see what we get here. Okay, Mulan discovered, and Owls of Minerva discovered. And it looks like we got into the Void Singers too, somehow on that turn, so let's join them. We also met Chinguetti here, so got a first meet. This one will be really good. International domestic trade routes receive plus one faith for every follower in the city of your founded or majority religion. If we have six trade routes coming out of our city and we have 30 population, that's gonna be 180 faith. Got a barbarian scout that just showed up, so there must be a camp up here. Maybe I'll take my warrior up there and try and take care of that. Scout is ready to go, let's go. Continue exploring out this direction. We'll send the warrior up here. Next, let's work on our obelisk here. Just finished mining. Let's get pottery next. And already we have some warriors spawning up here. Dust storm and twister <laughs> side by side. That's a great combination. Here's Phoenicia. She's down here. She's in the same secret society, so that's a good sign. No delegation needed. We should be on pretty good terms pretty soon. More barbarians spawning, so let's pull back. Maybe take cover in the woods here. Antonin Arrivo here, not a first meet. Your civilization gains 2% culture for each great person ever earned up to 30%. We got code of laws. Let's put in urban planning. We have a little faith going already, so no need for God, King, and discipline. We should be in a good position here on this hill across the river. And we found astrology, so let's start on that. Placing some pins here. We could have a really good campus here with the geothermal fissure the two mountains. Maybe University of Sancor, that could be a decent option for us. Two science for every trade route to the city. Domestic trade routes give an additional plus one faith to the city. I, I like that, we could have quite a few trade routes going to us. And then out here we could do a holy site with two mountains and some woods, and then eventually an industrial zone with the quarries. Let's take a look at the civics tree. So political philosophy is pretty late, late classical era, usually it's in this column but we only need a few civics to get there. So let's let's go straight for that. And there, that hit 16 damage versus 55. We finished our obelisk, so we're gonna be getting our Pantheon a lot quicker now. And let's go into a builder next. Just found Chocolate Hills out to the west. That boosted astrology, so we'll uh, get our holy site placed pretty soon. Let's watch this here, look at that. 17 to 71 damage. That was because we got the plus six fortification bonus on the second turn. Let's buy a slinger now. Start knocking these guys out. Just unlocked our Pantheon. Desert Folklore is available, but we're planning to go Reliquaries for our religion rather than work ethic. So I think I'm gonna go with Lady of the Reeds and Marshes for the extra production on Blood Plains. Yeah, that'll be really nice. Let's hit here with the Slinger, here with the Warrior. We have a promotion on the Warrior, so let's fortify, cancel, and promote since we're about to take a hit. Let's go improve these two stones and then get the wheat going too. Let's start on Great Bath now. We don't have enough gold to buy this tile yet for our holy site, but we might switch to that. Let's start making our way north to the barbarian camp. 
couple tribal villages out here near Phoenicia. Let's see what we get. Boost to state workforce and a promotion on our scout. And let's see what we get here. Ooh, nice relic. Here's the camp. We have a couple players generating profit points. We'll get right into a holy site as soon as we finish Great Bath. More barbarians spawning, but the spearmen moved out of the camp. I don't know why. I think I'll hit here. And I think I can take a couple hits there. We can finally afford this tile, so let's put in our holy site. Yeah, we got him. Just finished state workforce, so we got our first governor promotion, besides the original one that we got. So let's take Pingala and put him here. It looks like we're gonna get great bath. Let's get a warrior now. The scout is still on our holy site anyway, so we can't work it. Phoenicia has a few warriors out here. I just want to be safe. Let's work on our holy site now. We should be able to get a religion. Three players without any profit points yet. Meteor shower. Nice. Right in the oasis. <laughs> and we're lucky we have a scout right here to get it. Just purchase a soothsayer here so we can start the flooding exploit and start racking up the faith. Finished our holy site. Just discovered Hippolyta from finding Kumasi. So first meet actually on Kumasi. Trade routes to any city state provide plus two culture and plus one gold for every specialty district in the origin city. Let's start a disaster. Thousand year flood mitigated. There we go. Got the faith coming in. Looks kind of weird there. <laughs> Let's get another soothsayer. Keep it going. Looks like soothsayers cost four gold per turn to maintain, so our gold is going down. There is a cost to them. Another flood. This one just started a dust storm when I played it on Great Bath, so maybe I have to be on, on a workable tile. Classical era, normal age. It's really fine that we don't have a golden age. We're not purchasing any settlers, obviously. It would be nice to purchase builders with faith, but we have soothsayers we can buy. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, nice. Another scout. Dido has a normal age to take free inquiry. I played the Soothsayer again and it was another dust storm, so that's interesting, and I played him on this tile. Looks like Dido attacked Chinguetti, so we'll see. I may want to liberate that if uh, she takes it. Just met Oya, also war-based, so probably not interested in her. Dido likes me, so let's get a friendship. Now on the tech tree, we're looking for mathematics so we can start Petra. I don't see it yet. I think I'll go archery, see what's here. If it's not there, we'll finish engineering. I need to save up some gold to buy a tile for my campus. So let's play God King and conscription. Another dust storm out here. Just got a traitor. Let's go to Chinguetti for the uh, envoy. And Maui. Wow, another dust storm traveled from out here all the way over here in a single turn. <laughs> Tier one government. Let's go with classical Republic. Let's boost our trade route. Get the production back and uh, builder production. He's the gods competition. We may want to do this. Just bought my campus tile and I have a builder ready to chop. I want the production to go into the campus rather than the walls. So what I can do is go to the queue, right click here, fake that off, chop, then put in the campus. I learned that from Gamer Gramps or uh, Cradle of Civilization now. Looks like Chinguetti is sort of holding on. I have a warrior parked here just to make it a little harder. I'm gonna try to get one more in range. Looks like we found a neighbor to our south. Spain, okay. Second governor promotion. Let's go with Connoisseur for the culture. We're about to get a campus going, so our science should improve a bit. Another dust storm and finished our campus. Another chance to park a unit here, so let's do that. Another envoy, let's become suzerain of Geneva. Let's discover Arthur, also war-based. I might try to buy Hypatia with faith, uh, but let's put in the scientist points. Finally found mathematics, so let's push toward that. I'm gonna buy Hypatia. It means we're giving up the appease the gods, but that's fine. We'll, we'll get it on the next one. Let's become first suzerain of candy. Now, if we find any natural wonders, we'll get relics. Our relics are getting us extra faith. We got our prophet. Philip won the appease the gods. Let's found our religion. Let's go with reliquaries and then pilgrimage. Two faith for each city following this religion. 18 faith for one relic. Let's work on Petra. Putting in the wonder production card so we can chop Petra. Let's promote Pingala to the researcher promotion. Just discovered Hercules from this tribal village. 
Awesome, we got another relic. Hercules is still available, so let's grab him and then we'll be able to use him at the end to make a spaceport. We got him, Hercules. Let's buy this tile right away and chop so that we can place a commercial hub before we lose population from a disaster or something like that. New Era and Petra coming up here, Golden Age. That's what we needed. These yields are gonna be amazing. Let's use Hercules to finish our commercial hub right away. Golden Ages for me in Spain, and we'll definitely take Monumentality. And now that we're in the medieval era, we can grab the Void Singers Chorus promotion, and we can start earning 20% of our faith in science, culture, and gold. We're at 35 and 24. This gets us to 45 and 34. We won the World Congress, so we get an extra trade route capacity. Let's get our rock hewn church here. We're surrounded by five hills. Beautiful. Dust storm right in the middle of the city. We just finished a temple. We have all these uh, Spanish missionaries running around, so let's buy an apostle. I'll take the debater promotion just so I can fight off the missionaries. Another mitigated flood, give us more faith. We just unlocked monarchy, but I'm gonna stay in classical republic because I don't like the slots in monarchy. But this means we can also start on Gotoku Inn. Here's my new policy cards. Bought a bunch of missionaries and we'll go try to convert Venetia. Spanish Apostle, let's uh, try to knock them out. We get two faith for every city that we convert, so it'd be nice to convert all of these. And then maybe get down here and try to knock out the Spanish religion. Let's give Pingala the grants promotion so we can get more great people points going. Let's give this Apostle the translator promotion, religious spread triple strength in cities of other civilizations and then we can send him south to Spain. Yes, we got him. We just grew to nine population. Let's chop this wheat. We already have one wheat here and then we can get to 10 population and use Hercules to get a district down. He only has five turns left his lifespan. Let's get an industrial zone. We'll use Hercules to finish this district. And let's go ahead and buy a workshop. Gonna start playing campus adjacency bonus. Let's build an aqueduct here for extra housing and then we can use Hercules to finish it on his last turn. Here's Kotoku in. Let's get right into Kilwa next. Let's buy a university here. We missed Hildegard, that was a big mistake. I should have been paying more attention. Could have given our holy site science. We got uh, the World Congress, so Spain, fewer grievances against them if we go convert their cities. Hercules just died, so we got another relic. Evangelizing my religion, let's get stupas for the extra amenity. Okay, another appease the gods. Let's get an alliance with Dido, get a research alliance. Just got our holy site, shrine, and temple all pillaged by this storm. Renaissance era, we have a normal age. Let's take Exodus of the Evangelists. We should be able to make use of that. Got Kilwa. Now let's repair all of our districts that got damaged. We've reached 13 populations, so we can place another district. Let's get our theater square place. And let's start sacrificing some units. Looks like we came in second in the Appease the Gods. And we finally unlocked Merchant Republic. Let's start playing Rationalism now, see what that does. Bump this up a little bit. Got our first merchant, Merchant Marco Polo. Here we're starting to pull ahead of our neighbors in science and culture, so that's awesome. Getting our faith up, starting to use the Soothsayers a little more. Let's recruit Amani and send her to probably our Mog. Here's Forbidden City. Here's my policy cards. I'm gonna start doing Simultaneum since we're past 15 population. And we got Rationalism's really helping. Campus Adjacency a little bit. Holy Sight a little bit. Raj is pretty nice. We just got a city through loyalty, but we have to refuse it since we're just doing a one city challenge. Let's buy Brunelleschi for the Wonder production. He's Brunelleschi on Oxford here. Finally hit 300 science. We can buy these relics from Spain, so let's go ahead and do that. It's a little pricey, but I think it's definitely worth it. Oxford coming up here. Mass media boost, flight boost, civil engineering, radio, we got radio, and military science. And then that increases our science to 381. Let's buy an archeological museum with faith now. 
Looks like we finally reached the other continent. And the Gauls. And Anshan. So, oh, it looks like they captured Indonesia's capital. A lot of Spanish missionaries here, so let's launch an Inquisition. And then we can buy an Inquisitor. Let's get a religious alliance with Gaul. They have a religion. We're at 400 science now. We found suffrage here on the tree. It's pretty early in the modern era, so that's really nice for us. Entering the industrial era. Looks like we are the only ones that we see with the golden age. I think I'll go with heartbeat of steam. We might want to do a couple more wonders and then we can get the extra production from our campus. Here's Simon Bolivar down here. We can also buy archaeologists with faith, so let's go ahead and buy one now. And let's promote the Void Singers to the Canticle promotion so that we can get cultists. We're not going to use them to flip cities, we'll just use them to generate relics. Here's Indonesia. Looks like we just met Indonesia's traitor. Finally unlocked democracy. Let's put in the New Deal card, that one's really good. Up to 170 production now in our capital. Getting close to 20 population. Close to 500 science, I think it's going pretty well. Reach 500 science, voting for plus 10 religious strength and then disrupt rocketry. Okay, so recruit partisans is higher. We did win the religion. Let's see if we can get our cultist killed for the relic. Another dust storm. Just got demolished by this dust storm. I think we were over 20 population, 21 maybe, and now we're down to 15. And another dust storm. Just demolished. We have an appease the gods here, so we'll try to win that. Now it's wiped out all my farms. Population from 21-ish to 13. And of course, another one. Let's sacrifice our field cannon. Let's put in the logistics card so we can move around these builders and repair our city. Uh, right as we repair, <laughs> one turn after we repaired. To evangelize our religion. I'm gonna go with monastic isolation just in case we lose battles. I don't see anything here that's particularly useful. I mainly did that for the era points. Down to 12 population, down to 10 population. We've lost over half of our population in the last five or six turns just from dust storms. Just met Taruga here on the other continent and they give extra 5% science in all cities for each different improved strategic resource they have. I'm trying to find the Cold War Civic to play a card that will let my envoys count as two if the suzerain has a different government. Finally found rocketry on the tech tree, so we can start a spaceport pretty soon. I think we'll buy Hercules again for a thousand faith and then he'll just build that. Let's get Hercules. We didn't get anything for Appease the Gods. I lost track of that in all those dust storms. Other dust storm. And here's Sankor. Sankor won't be as powerful as I envisioned. I envisioned a lot of trade routes coming to us, but apparently we only have one. We also got rocketry, so let's uh, lay down our spaceport and let's finish it with Hercules. We could launch our satellite in four turns, but our science isn't really through the roof, so I don't think production is going to be an issue at the end, which means we can do something else. Let's get Rear Valley. Looks like nanotechnology may come before the moon landing, or at least same time frame. Eiffel's here. Let's grab him with the the faith we can just finish for valley quickly up to phase four on our climate change it looks like we're basically totally responsible for it with all of our soothsayers uh whenever we use one it generates co2 let's use eiffel to finish for valley Here's our tier four government that we want. The thing is, we're going to lose the amenities from New Deal when we switch into that. So I'll need to make sure that my amenities are good to go before I do that. It would be nice, though, to have the extra 30% production towards city projects. And then that would be on top of Pingala's 30%. Winning some religious battles out here. So we just converted one of Spain's core cities. Here's our satellite. We don't have our moon landing yet unlocked, so let's go ahead and work on Broadway. Five turns. Just unlocked geothermal plants, so let's go ahead and get some renewable energy. One turn till the next era. I'm not too concerned about conserving era score because I think next era will be the last one. Modern era, cool, we have a golden age, only one. And let's just repeat this, heartbeat of steam. We're about to lose the uh, plus 10 religious strength, so let's use these last charges up down here and just convert grid. There we go. Broadway. 
Wow, look at the storm. <laughs> it's like right in the middle of a dust storm. <laughs> no, that is apocalyptic. Wow, look at all the fires going on. <laughs> Looks like we have a religious emergency against us because we converted Madrid. Let's see how it goes. Okay, uh, it passed. Another dust storm. <laughs> Tiles, oh, losing fertility. Ooh, okay. Getting serious now, right in the city center. We just hit 700 science. We just got the containment policy with Cold War. So now each envoy can count as two if we send them to city-states with suzerains that have different governments. Get some envoys in here. Wow, we just entered apocalypse mode. <laughs> Turn 218, that's, I think that's super early. Comets will be falling from the sky I think every turn and we could lose our capital from what I've heard uh, the comets can fall on the capital in which case the game will be over I will just give up if that <laughs> if that happens but um, yeah here we go let's see how it goes Taruga bumped us up over a hundred on our science Ooh, I didn't see the video but there's a comet strike let's hope for the best <laughs> just unlocked optimization imperative here's our policy cards Let's start using builder charges to get these projects off faster. Here's our moon landing, so we get the culture bomb, 10 times our science, so that's about 8,000 plus culture. Should get us to globalization, which will allow us to get 5% science boost for each city-state that we're suzerain of. Yeah, here's globalization. We'll play the International Space Agency card. Our amenities are starting to, hit, to take a hit, so let's uh, start trading for duplicates from the AI. And that makes such a big difference. We can really increase your yields. Ooh, that's on our land. Oof. The outer ring, but that's getting close. Oh, ooh, okay. It, all, it didn't affect any workable tiles, but it demolished a couple luxuries. We did get the International Space Agency card, so let's put that in. Yeah, that gets us over a thousand on science. Oh wow, the screen just changed. Are we not in apocalypse mode anymore? Maybe maybe this is from using World Builder, the incompatibility or something, I don't know. That's weird. Maybe we're in the clear, we'll, we'll see. We just took Nalanda, so they offer the Mojave Hara, and when you construct your first Mojave Hara, you get a free random tech, so let's try that. Nuclear fission, okay. Interesting. So the final project is not in this column. Maybe here, maybe one of these. Over 1200 on our science now. Okay, we found it. Smart materials here and maybe lasers there. Here's our Mars colony. Working on our exoplanet expedition now. I'm going to use the builder charges just, just to speed it up. If the spaceport gets demolished by a comet, at least we'll be moving one light year per turn. Oh, comet strike right on Ruhr Valley and maybe not my industrials. Oh my goodness, this is insane. <laughs> okay, it's getting serious now. Okay, we, uh, we got to get out of here. We have the apocalyptic screen again. I don't know what changed. And let's launch our exoplanet now. At least we're moving. We researched cybernetics and the lasers aren't here, so we have about nine turns till lasers. Ooh, another comet strike on our border. Two more turns till our laser project. We made it, we got our laser stations. I'll work on future tech for an extra 5% production towards city projects each time it's completed. And we can actually chop, we have some woods out here. Ooh, here's a... Yikes, that's, there go a lot of our farms. At least it wasn't the city center. Wow, okay, so there's our first laser project. So we're going two light years per turn. Look at that, oof. Let's look at our farms real quick. That demolished most of them. Uh, oh, we lost faith, we lost all our faith on them. I think we we're up to 58 woods to chop here. So let's get this one going. Okay, that's three light years per turn. Just got Jane Austen, so apparently she's uh, writing her great works. She's got time to write uh, Pride and Prejudice in the middle of the apocalypse. Another laser station. Chinguetti has managed to hold on the whole game against Phoenicia with our with our troops surrounding it. 
Oh, I know why we lost all our faith. We lost Great Bath. Another laser project. Now it's switched to non-apocalyptic view again, so I don't know. Atomic Era, Normal Age, another laser project. Comets have been falling steadily every turn. We're at 49 out of 50 light years, so if we just hang on this one more turn, then we won. Let's see what happens. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. Yes, oh, we did it. That was crazy. Oof. That was intense. Wow, we got slammed by comets. We survived, we survived the apocalypse. We're back at turn 239 here. I found an old save file. Just wanted to look at the yields here of my farm. So it looks like we got up to 59 feet. A few things we could have done differently. I think I focused too much maybe on spreading my religion. I probably should have just invested more in soothsayers. And then I really should have focused on the appease the gods. Sacrificing units. Um, because I think those bonuses, they give you extra charges. So I think that's the way to get the yields up even further. At one point we bought Hypatia with faith. Rather than um, going for the appease the gods. And I think I should have done appease the gods instead. The, the one extra science probably didn't do too much for me on the library. And now back up to the to the turn after the final turn. Just take a look at the final product here. It's it was uh, pretty ugly in the end, but uh, we got the job done. I it's amazing that the city center did not get hit. I think I'm gonna guess that there's something in the programming that maybe saves that for the very end. I don't know. Maybe we just got lucky. Definitely a crazy game. Thanks for the support and thanks for watching.